Boston Dynamics just joined the humanoid robot party. Hi, welcome to Zigajo Review. Boston Dynamics is known for their work in robotics. We have Spot, which is a robot that looks like a dog. Then we have the HD Atlas, which is that bipedal robot that is known for all the little tricks that it can do. Well, that robot was finally retired by Boston Dynamics yesterday on April 16th. Today is April 17th when I'm making this video. The robot had been around for 10 years as of July of last year. They created this highlight reel per se of all its accomplishments from the very inception all the way to the latest thing that the robot could do. It's a very interesting video showing the progression of the robot. If you're interested in watching that video, I'm going to link it in the description section. But of course, Boston Dynamics is not sitting around waiting. Today on April 17th, Boston Dynamics unveiled the new Atlas. There is a video that comes with this that is kind of creepy to look at at first, but then once you watch it, it's really, really cool to look at and to see how far the robot has come from where it used to be to where it is today. One of the big changes that the Atlas is making is going from a hydraulic system to a fully electric system. As we can see, the Atlas starts laying down on the ground. We're going to see it get up and it doesn't get up in a normal way. It gets up in what I will say kind of like a horror movie type of way and it starts facing with the back to us and then does a 180 degree turn, faces the camera or faces us, turns its body around completely and then it walks away. Now the walk is a little weird. It looks like it's like pushing forward like this while it walks. But I will say that this is the best demo of a human robot that we've seen recently. We've of course seen that Optimus from Tesla and we have seen that figure one robot. The difference to me with this robot is of course there's a lot of things, right? First, the way it moves. The way it moves is completely different from anything we've seen before. The thing is on the ground, so it kind of gives us an idea of what will happen if this robot is laying on the ground or if it falls to the ground. How would it get up? Will it need help from humans or will it get up itself? And here, of course, it, it, it does it in a very clever way where it uses its legs to completely rotate forward to push itself up and stand up technically backwards right that's one the other one is how smooth and quick the movements are if you remember on that video of the figure one the responses of the robot were very slow based on the command and then the movement wasn't very fast either the optimus don't get me started is one of the slowest moving robots that we've seen between all these demos that we've seen recently. The other big difference between this new Atlas model and the other Atlas model, besides the fact that it's now electric and not hydraulics, is how it looks like product ready, right? And what I mean by product ready is ready to be probably put out there and sold to people. Of course, it's not ready. Don't get excited yet. But that's what it looks like compared to the previous Atlas where you could see cables hanging. Usually you had all the sensors exposed so you could really see what the robot was doing with its head, with the sensors there and the cameras and all that. This robot also does not have a face. If you notice difference between this robot and the figure one and the Tesla Optimus is that to me kind of looks like a lamp on the front. We you know it has the, the yellow light on the front, but behind that glass, it has cameras and sensors. So it is doesn't have a face. And I'm wondering if it's just going to change at some point where it might give you some sort of information on that, if that becomes some sort of screen instead of just being sensors, or is it just going to be like a lamp? And maybe the lights will serve as some sort of sign of what the robot is doing like if he hears you it changes colors if he's going to do a task it changes colors things like that maybe of course i don't know this is early so 39 second video i kind of want to go slowly on the video and kind of like break down what we see so we can see the hands the hands on this robot are not as sophisticated as what we've seen on the figure one and the Optimus. I will say that this robot also looks a lot heavier than those robots based on the material. The material looks a lot sturdier than in those robots. Now things that we can we can see on this robot is a type of joints that, that seem to have a lot of movement. It looks like it has 
pretty much 360 range of movement on the joints. If we look at that backpack that has that 001 number there, looks like it has a couple of buttons and a plug. The plug, obviously, I'm assuming that is, you know, like a charging port of some kind. Then those buttons look like, it looks like a power button, the one with the bluish light there. I don't know what the other button will be for. If we look at the head from the side, we can see the shape of it too. It's, it, like I said earlier, it's, it's, it's shaped like a lamp. And, you know, you have the grill there on the sides, which I'm assuming is for airflow. Then you obviously have the back of that with the white light there, letting you know that this robot is most likely powered not only from the front, but also from the back. And you have the antenna. And it's just a very different form factor than the other robots that we've seen. But also a, a more realistic form factor than the other robots that we've seen. The other robots look very Hollywood, very movie-like type props. And this looks more like a real type of materials design-wise also than the other robots do, if that makes sense. But it looks really cool. Now, this robot might be out a lot sooner than we might think, okay? Because what the plan is for Boston Dynamics is to put these robots to work at Hyundai factories in the next year. If you weren't aware, Hyundai bought Boston Dynamics, so Hyundai owns Boston Dynamics. And my assumption is to gain experience, to work out the kinks and things like that. And then a few years later, to probably possibly put it out for sale to the public. This robot looks very advanced compared to those other robots that I just mentioned. And as I've been saying before, Boston Dynamics has years of experience when it comes to robotics. They've been working on this one bipedal robot for 10 years, okay? Now, compared to Tesla Optimus, it was like, what, a couple of years? I think three years max, actually. Let me take a quick look. And when I did the first video on the Optimus, so I did a video on August 24, 2021. On August 24 of this year is going to be three years since that video came out, which will make it about three years since Tesla announced the robot. Now, you gotta remember back then, three years ago, when we saw the robot announced, it was someone in tights doing a stupid dance. Now we have the figure one that was just shown off this year. To me, in my opinion, these robots are farther away than the robot from Boston Dynamics. That's what I am going by when I say that one looks closer to reality than the others. But I'm also thinking that there's got to be a period of testing, right? There's going to be most likely legislation around it, whether we like it or not. And like, there's so many things to think about when these robots come around. What type of data these robots can gather when they're in your home? What can they listen to? Like all these things that we haven't really thought about. The dangers of having a big machinery in your house just moving around the place that could fall on people and things like that, you know? It's just, it is really exciting, but then thinking about the reality of it, it's like we're probably a lot farther away than we would like it to be, even if it feels that it's so close. But it is a really cool showing by Boston Dynamics of what this robot can do. What do you think about the new Boston Dynamics Atlas robot? Do you think it's cool? Do you think it's not? Do you have a preference between the Optimus figure one and this one? How far do you think we are from having this at home? Let me know in the comment section. That is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.